plus for a two hundred away time. Come out the lot of Taurus and thirty one. Plus for a two hundred. Ten for Pleasant Prairie, 200 yourself, bound Green Bay, approaching Wadsworth. Westbound, Wadsworth. Westbound, Wadsworth. Ten for Westbound, Wadsworth. What's your speed, and can I get a plate? Disregard, we have a plate. Pleasant Prairie Police Department. Pleasant Prairie Police Department. Any units is firm. Is firm. Any units is firm. Plus Prairie Police Department. We're in a pursuit. 1080. Known felony subject. Known felony subject. High race speed. Wad, oh, to Wadsworth. Coming up to Delaney. Westbound. Westbound Wadsworth approaching Delaney. Pleasant Prairie Department, any units on Ashburn. We need assistance from Lake County. Need assistance from Lake County. We were in at 1080. 100 miles an hour westbound, coming up to 41. Highway 41, westbound and Wadsworth. Lake County Sheriff Copy, you need assistance for 100 for westbound, approaching 41 on Wadsworth. Negative, negative. We're at 40 miles an hour. 40 miles an hour sees a roundabout with Dillies. We're going northbound. This is going to be better road. We're in Dillies, northbound from Wadsworth. Northbound Dillies from Wadsworth. Northbound Dillies from Wadsworth, 40 miles an hour. 302 southbound, northbound lane. Northbound lane. We're at BP here on state line. I can't copy you with your radio in the background. We're pursuing that, uh, I think it's the BP in the chair line here. <laughs> Lake County Sheriff Petty, Lake County units, Zion, that are involved. Do we have a location? 5120, if I'm reading the hit correctly, is his warrant for felony bail jumping for criminal damage? Looks like intimidation and stalking, and I believe they're now in a foot pursuit. Somehow, somewhere on 41 near a gas station. 10 we'll be in route up there. The northbound 41, just north of Wadsworth. We can see the squads in the roadway. What's all that information? We just talked to Pleasant Prairie. They're asking for a... Can you copy 28? A piece of the subject has a gun. 5111, go ahead. This is that uh, information that the subject has a gun. I took out on the slip, and he's out of those right now. This is just east of 41. He's behind the businesses, just east of 41. Possibly armed with a 1032. 5112, we have the 28 on the vehicle. You have additional? Negative. I'm going to be out with the vehicle. I'm the only unit out here. 10 4. And be advised that somebody can let them know if Gurney Canines and route, so it's create a perimeter. 11, I'm with them now. They got a perimeter set up. 41 in Wadsworth. We believe the subject ran into the woods behind the BP and McDonald's. Just east of BP. 11 10 4. Do we have a Clothing description or anything? I'm trying to get it in now. Look like Gurney's K9 just arrived. 10 4. Gurney K9 location. It looks like we got them boxed in in this field. 10 4. Boxed in the field. I found us a male black, black, black t shirt. So far, that's all they got right now. 10 4. Black and white t shirt, male black. Let me find an advice. Uh, Gurney's K9 location. 10-4 and Waukegan self-deployed. Their dog's also en route. So far. Right, so right now, we just want to for uh, by the BP in McDonald's. Cause, well, let me find out advice. Uh, Gurney's play nice location. 10-4 and Waukegan self-deployed. Their dog's also en route. So far. Right, so right now, we just want to for uh, by the BP in McDonald's. Cause, well, 11, if you can also let Pleasant Prairie know Waukegan's got a drone en route. They've got a visual. He's moving northbound, just 300 yards from the building. The business is just north of the uh, BP. 10 4. 5120, I'm coming up 1060. I'll move north of the intersection, try and cut him off. 10 4. Kirkson from Brown, do you still have a visual on him? There you go. 10 4. I'm set up at the way station with a gurney unit. 10 4. Waukegan 199 on this firm. Waukegan 199. There's a lot of gurney cars. That's the rest of Pleasant Prairie with my thermal. And they get on and direct us in ambush. 5111 from 5120. Go ahead. Are you still with the Pleasant Prairie units? Yes, I am. Okay, and where are you guys set up right now? We are just at the north end of the, the plaza. Northeast. All right, ten four. For now, you guys are going to be the command post, okay? Um, do we have anybody out in the field searching right now? 
Yes, that's uh, Waukegan and K9 is out there in the field. All right, who was with him? It's a couple of Waukegan that went in that world. 5120. Um, I'm still on HP1, but I'm copying county wild, countywide and loud and clear. I am with the Gurney K9 and with one other Gurney unit. Uh, we are at the truck stop. Temper, we have HP1 patched with countywide. Yeah, sure, thank you. Have you uh, gotten a hold of Waukegan yet? We're on the phone with him now. 10 4. 20 from 5100. Go ahead. I'm still over here on 41. I got Waukegan with me, and I'm going to be putting a drone up here momentarily. <laughs> All right, 10 4. We're going to hold here then. Uh, we'll be scanning the area with night vision, and uh, we'll move if you guys see something. 10 4. I also have Pleasant Prairie with me in uh, Kenosha County, K9. Central. County Central. Advise it looks like whatever it is trying to hunker down a little bit further. So you're probably right above, above it or in the general area there. Is there any unit on the uh, Forest Preserve walking trail to the east side of this perimeter? No, yeah, I'm interested. Or south of the drone on the path. All right, I just want to make sure there's an eastern border because if it gets to that, then it should be a little bit more difficult. The freedom of movement will be easier. Gurney K9 is up at the way station. There's nobody on the trailhead by us right now. 5100, 5120. Copy that. Do you need anything extra? I see a Gurney car just rolled up there. A Gurney unit with a drone. I'm going to be setting up Kenosha County Sheriff to watch it. 5120 and Gurney unit 127, the K9, are on the trail. Hey, uh, Andy, I don't know if you saw it or not. We thought it was one of you guys. I don't know if anybody's in the brush, maybe. 100 yards in, but there was a cell phone light or a flashlight. Was that one of you? Sorry, right, that's negative. No, no lights. Okay, there was definitely a cell phone light, so if I had to guess, I would say maybe 100 to 150 yards in and probably 50 yards south of the northernmost squad on 41 right there, and somewhere in that general area. So it doesn't look like he's moved anywhere. Once a drone gets up, I can guide them a little bit better. That might have been the Gurney canine that just said they were coming on the trail. 5111 information. Could be the Gurney unit then with the light. We see you. 5111, 5100 from Lake County Dispatch. Be advised, 5154 is advising she's out with a girlfriend and somebody keeps calling on her cell phone. That might be the light that you guys are seeing. 11 copies. Can anybody ping his cell phone if we get the number from the girl? 51, so she's saying that he does not have a phone on him. Well, Keegan 199, girlfriend's advising she doesn't have a phone. He doesn't have a phone on. Drone's in the right spot. We just can't tell with the depth perception if it's, you should move north or south a little, but you're right in line. So, I thought we don't really like that. Yeah, a trail. Right. It looks like it's moving slowly, maybe crawling. Again, you can't tell if it's a person or an animal or exactly what. 99, do you think it would be better with, because uh, this is your device here, if, uh, if we tried to look from the trail looking west, perhaps? The high level is better because it's thick at eye level. But uh, uh, the last time before the drone had to get off the battery, we were much closer to it. I thought it was in the general area, and now it's way to the north. So. Right, Paul, you want to work south then? Because you went way north of where we were originally at when we moved closer to you. Um, Pleasant Prairie saying that it looks like if, if the, well, the drone, if the drone can come south a little bit and then west, and then, Andy, you guys would go north and west, and it would be somewhere where you guys would intersect a little bit north and west of you. Cosby, yeah, just keep it, that's you. Just keep working south. I want to work the, uh, the border from behind here, and then Gurney, maybe, or whoever can work northern end, but. Not seeing anything. Okay. That's nowhere near the original that I saw before we came out here. So, if you look to your north end, you have the two officers that are out, you know, 150 yards north of you. That's the general area that we're seeing this blob thing. Officers with the flashlight, you guys are getting pretty close. You have a drone, I think, over you too. Drone that's following the two officers on foot. If you could go about 15 yards east and see what you see. Yeah, flashlight that's out there right now, you're pretty much right there. If you don't see anything, we might be just getting something else, but you're right there. Not really sure. It could be a little north or a little south of where you are with the flashlights. 
We just can't tell depth perception wise, but you're on the line of who has seen it. 5120 from 5100 left on that trail. We did not see any uh, fresh tracks on that trail. Nothing indicated that he crossed it. The only thing he could have done is if he stayed on the west side of that trail and continued running north, he could have slipped outside of the perimeter that way while we were getting set up at the way station. That's perfect, Oscar. Just kind of work that general area south. Hey, Oscar, is that you up right now with the drone over here on the back side of the complex? You keep working south. Hey, Andy, right underneath the drone, the southernmost drone, we can't tell what it is. There's, there's something that stands out, though, directly underneath it. 99, if you guys want to make your way back to Waterford Road, um, I guess we could probably go ahead and call it. 